Having the right settings is critical for creating a home projection show. Let's take a look at some key settings you will need to configure for your show build. Here on the project panel, right-click and select New Project. Name it House Masking Template. Once open, select the gear icon in the lower right-hand corner. Here on the Master Settings menu, ensure that your timeline resolution is set to your projector's native resolution. There are quite a few presets available. If you don't see your desired resolution, choose Custom from the menu and enter the appropriate values in each text box. My projector runs at 1920 by 1080, so that's what I will choose here. The timeline frame rate is how many frames per second your video will run at. Most of the effects and videos I use to build shows, such as Atmos, FX Digital Decorations, run at a frame rate of 29.97, so I will choose this option. In the future we will discuss how to handle mismatched frame rates in video content. For now I'd recommend you set this to 29.97 as well. The next settings we want to adjust will be the optimized media and render cache settings. These are settings that we will address further when we get into some show builds later in this series. For now, consider this a good starting point to set your render cache to. For the cache settings, I like to leave the resolutions for each option set to choose automatically and set the formats for each option to DNxHRSQ. You can always set these to something else of course, but be sure to research each setting before choosing something different than what I've set here. If you want Resolve to start caching quicker than 5 seconds, you can reduce the time by changing this value. For now let's leave it at 5. I also prefer to check each of these settings here. Finally, you need to set the location where your render cache will be stored. It is critical that you do not store these on the same drive on your operating system. Render caches can get large, quick. Even though we will regularly purge the cache, you don't want to risk running your OS drive out of space and crashing your computer. I have a second internal hard drive that I store mine on, but you could use an external hard drive to store the cache if you needed to. Also remember where the location is, in case you find yourself in a position where you need to manually delete the cache without using Resolve to remove it. Next select the Image Scaling menu. Let's set the input scaling for mismatched resolutions to the scale entire image to fit option. Set the same for output scaling. Save these options. Let's take a look at a few more settings before we move on. Select DaVinci Resolve in the top left corner and then choose Preferences. Select Memory and GPU. Tuning these settings can help prevent your system from crashing while working inside of DaVinci Resolve. You can see here the limits I have set for a system that has 32GB of RAM. If you have a system with 16GB of RAM, I'd recommend setting the resolve limit to 6GB and the fusion limit to 4GB as a starting point. If you still experience any crashing issues with resolve, start by reducing the number of programs that start up when you boot up your machine. If that still doesn't solve the issue, reduce each one by 1GB at a time until you find the right balance between running both resolve and your OS. If you have less than 16 gigabytes of RAM, you're going to struggle and I'd recommend you upgrade your system memory if possible. Finally, let's configure automatic backups. Select the User tab, then Project Save and Load. Ensure each is enabled, and then configure the number of backups and the frequency they are taken as you desire. If you want to know how to restore these backups, there is a link to another video in the description that will show you the process. We could deep dive on many more settings. But for our purposes, this is a good starting point, so we will call it a day here. Don't skip these though. They are incredibly important for our projects down the line. In our next video, we will begin looking at house masking basics using Fusion. In the interim, be sure to subscribe to this channel for any updated tutorials on how to use Resolve for home projection mapping.